All right, guys, here we are again. So, Raspberry Pi, R Pi FTS, running off of battery power. This is a Raspberry Pi 4 Bravo 8 gigabyte version. Um, these run a little hot. They consume a little bit more power than your standard uh, Raspberry Pi 3 and whatnot. Uh, these, they get comfy at 3.5 amps, uh, but 3 amps will be just enough to power it. Uh, as long as you don't have anything crazy going on here as far as on your USB uh, your USB ports, uh, nothing that's drawing too much power. It shouldn't take away from uh, the power that's, that's required to run this uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, so, cables again, you know, here's my sound card. Got the sound card here. Got the splitter connecting to, connected to the mic and hit, uh, the mic and uh, speaker inputs. Uh, they, that splitter comes over here to this APRS cable. So this cable right here, that is a, that is a B-Tech APRS K1 cable. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. It's like, it's like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Uh, but essentially it was, it was, it was a cable that was made for, uh, APRS, uh, on handhelds and whatnot. Oh uh, yeah. So if you see over there, uh, I got raspberry pies everywhere. I love raspberry pies. Got sidetracked. My bad. Going back to what I was saying. So these cables were made for APRS, uh, but they work very well for this particular uh, application because essentially you're doing AFSK. So it's just taking the audio inputs and outputs from the radio and uh, boom, passing that same audio uh, analog signal down this way uh, all the way to the Pi. So it works very well. I'm sure you can make your own cable. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm freaking terrible at it. So that's why I paid the money to get my own cable. So... Radio is uh, turned on. Yep, boom, radio's turned on. And then over here, as you can see, I'm VNC'd into my, uh, uh, into my Raspberry Pi. So over here, this is, this is Mumble, what we're running here. Uh, so Mumble is my radio server, is what's handling my uh, radio traffic up into the server running in the Raspberry Pi, uh, and then out through this radio, and then vice versa. Uh, so over here, I'm running a client, right? And the client is the one that's handling the uh, voice traffic that's coming in and out. And it's either receiving it from the radio and pushing it up to the server, or it's receiving it from another client connected to the server and then pushing it out through the radio to the guys on local comms. Uh, but yeah, so everything, I think if I'm not mistaken, everything is set up right now. Uh, let me see if I, all right. So now I'm over here in my... Uh, actual mumble client here and got my radio here and as you see every time I key in every time I key in the radio it'll it'll key in over here as the Raspberry Pi is the one talking so yeah it's pretty cool stuff and then whatever whatever this guy receives over here the Raspberry Pi because since I'm connected to a different client on the actual uh, Android if I come over here and I start, boom, you'll see that it starts keying in. Test, test, test. Oh, well, let's go ahead and try it again. Let me see. All right, all right. Oh, no, no. Test, 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 boom. Test, test, test. So there's that. Uh, Boom. Yeah, so very important. You got to keep your radio on Vox. So right off the bat, if your radio doesn't have Vox, it's just not going to work out very well. Uh, it, it's just not going to work out at all because you need you need you need that Vox so that it can detect audio coming in and be able to push it out. But uh, yeah, so again, test, test, test. Boom. There's that. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of interference going on because I'm too close to each other. Uh but, yeah, I just wanted to show a quick demonstration of how this works. Uh, like I said earlier, I do have, uh, I got my ATAC over here. And I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm, uh, let me see, did it connect to my server? No, yeah, maybe. Boom, it's not connected to my server, so let's just go ahead and. Connect to my Raspberry Pi, and then boom, and then I'll just go ahead and check that one, and then boom, that's connected, and now we're connected to the Pi, 
Boom, boom. Oh, look at that. That's right. Version 1.1. Every time you connect to the server, it'll send you a cool message and everything. All right, so there's that. Uh, boom. So, yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, this is my setup. Running a free tax server in here. Oh, shit. Running a mumble server over here. That's handling my radio traffic, pushing it up to the server, and then server traffic pushing it back down to the radio. It's a pretty affordable setup. I mean, probably the most you're going to spend money on is maybe, you know, putting your your Raspberry Pi together. But, I mean, you can you can cheap out on some parts and whatnot. Uh, it's it's all up to you. Uh, my tab, of course, that's that's a, it's, it was a pretty hefty tab. That's a Galaxy S6. Uh, but... Yeah, pretty much this is my setup here, man. I don't, I don't, I don't need TVs. I got a big old TV back here, but I'm not using the TV. I'm just running everything off of this. Uh, this same setup, I can hook up to the, I can hook up to the wiring in my truck, and I can run it in the same similar fashion. I got a, got a power amp for this, uh, for this HT. Since I've got it figured out with the HT, I just hook up the HT, the HT to a power amp that I, that I have in the truck. Then I hook it up to the mobile antenna. Boom! Now it's in full e-mobile configuration. Um, so yeah, that's that, man. That's my setup. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed.